Welcome to episode 5 of the Affinity Publisher Beta Intro Series. This is Mike from Presto Mike, back to show you some more interesting things about Affinity Publisher. In this video, we will learn how to apply styles and also import them, align text and link text boxes so text can flow from page to page or frame to frame. You will also find a code somewhere in this video to download a free set of Affinity styles you can use across all Affinity products. Before we get started, let me remind you to subscribe to my channel to stay updated and make sure you watch this video carefully. Without further ado, let's get started with working with text. I've got a new publication set up with a cover page and three pages. Let's start with the styles. So I've got the text styles written out on the blank page. Let's now change its appearance. Select the text layer. In the same panel, select the styles tab. Now if you don't see this, go to the view uh, menu and that scroll down to studio and then add styles. Select any of the default styles to apply your text. You might think that the selection of styles here are very few and you're not wrong. Affinity could have put in more of these for us, but there's a workaround. Import styles. Let me show you how. In the same panel, all the way to the right, you will find a tiny drop down that opens up a long menu. You're looking for the import styles category. Click this, browse to your downloaded file. Now I'll put up the password on the screen in a bit, so keep watching and import it. Now you'll have a lot more than just this measly six tiles. Go ahead, try them out, have fun. Next, let's look at aligning the text. For this section, we're going to use um, the text frame, the frame text tool, and we're going to put it into two columns. Create the column. I'm going to copy some text and paste it in here. I need to change my font options for better readability. So here's the tip. Most publications use a font size between 10 to 14 and it depends on the font. When you have the text frame selected, notice that text properties contextual menu opens up and here you'll find the align tools. You'll see the left, the center, right and justify. You can adjust these as needed. Also notice that if I don't select the entire text in the frame, only the paragraph where the cursor is currently located in will be affected. That's about alignment. The last thing we're going to learn in this video is to have text flowing into additional frames. I guess you've already observed that the text isn't complete in the frame we pasted it into. So how do you get the remaining text visible? Click on the text frame and look at the right side of the frame. There is a small triangle, a small red triangle with a crossed out eye. You see it yet? Clicking on this eye will turn on or off a preview of the remaining text. Hover over the red triangle. You should see the cursor change to a longer arrow with a chain link icon. This indicates that the text frame can be linked to another. Click the triangle. That new icon disappears but now there are two ways you can have the text reflow. The first one, click in any other existing blank text frame. Now we already created a blank text frame on the next page so we're going to use that. The remaining text will be pasted. It's that simple. You can, the second method, you can click and drag out of new frame anywhere you like. So I'm going to go to a new page, just click uh, I drag out a frame and my text will automatically be pasted there. Isn't that simple? I hope you found this information useful. All you have to do now is download the AF styles, import them, apply them to your text and plus don't forget the little triangle with the eye. The final video in this short series is going to be a Scott Kelby style ebook that we will design together. So don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back with more content soon. Till then, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.